Universitas Katolik Indonesia Atmajaya The strategies and management of multinational corporation class from Faculty of Business Administration proudly presents Singapore Airlines Balancing Egg Singapore Airlines has won many awards and dominating the business travel segments. This is all possible because Singapore Airlines is applying dual strategies, which are keeping the cost low and providing premium services. These strategies seem contradictory, so how is it possible? Because they implement these four broad principles. So the principles are, first, harness the power of your people and culture. Second, make good use of technology. Third, utilize the power of business ecosystem. And lastly, make investment decisions strategically. Culture is hard to be formed. Culture is formed by repeated actions that curve a pattern. When the employees in your company are attached to each other deeply, they have a strong bond between each other. And when the thing that they do also affects their peers, they're gonna do the best that they can do not just for themselves, but also for their peers. This is also resulted by their salary policy in the company in which SIA keeps salaries low by offering employees bonuses of up to 50%, depending on SIA's profitability. Technology has a huge impact in implementing these contradictory strategies. Companies often just follow trends without actually looking at what's the company really needing. An easy way to explain this is by taking an example of how the use of cell phone in old people or among some of our parents. We all know that it is sometimes hard for elders or our parents to cope with the technology that is in use nowadays. Our parents often just use cell phone for texting and making calls. Well, we use phone for much more complex things like taking pictures, editing, posting it to social medias, browsing data for our tests, etc. which are more complex than merely texting and making calls. Problem is, our parents often use the same pricey and advanced phone like we do, while they can actually reduce the cost of buying a new phone when they just buy the phone that functions only for texting and making calls. The same thing applies in airlines. There are probably many advanced technologies that are offered by the suppliers, like the seats of the plane. The supplier probably offers many advanced seats that enable you to be massaged or many other features that make the seats pricier. In contrary to the trend, SI only looks for the widest possible seats with fewest possible parts and don't think SI is left behind in terms of technology because it is also the first to introduce fax and telephone on the board. The point is, SI knows how to fit the technology with the needs so that it doesn't waste SI's money but gives a great impact to the productivity. SIA doesn't only depend on the corporation effort or activities to deliver an excellent service, but also build a partnership with other business sectors which have the same target market with SIA. For example, SIA has partnered up with Fritz Carlton and Banyan Tree Private Collection. This partnership gives the member of SIA's frequent flyers certain discount percentage when they use service from the partners. On the other hand, SIA gets a commission every time its frequent flyer uses the partner's services. This principle focuses on what the company really needing strategically in order to improve and to excel among its competitors, instead of just focusing on financial returns. Because sometimes, when the investment costs too much, it's hard to calculate the financial returns. This might sound like it contradicts maintaining a low cost, but SIA is able to do that by setting some priorities for spending. It has certain key points in which SIA spends more, as shown here on the slide. First, buying new aircraft. SIA replaces its aircrafts more frequently than its competitors because SIA sets a standard of using the aircraft no longer than 15 years. The standard is actually shorter compared to the industry standard, which is 25 years. SIA always tries to increase its service by investing heavily on training employees to be able to deliver a great service so that it can delight customers and minimize customers' turnover. These pictures show the training for the cabin crews in order to prepare them so that they can cope with emergency situations. And this part is set up to teach flight attendants how to take care of their customers. 
and for the last examples, here's the room where the new hires can learn how to look professional during long flights. This point explains that SIA employs more cabin crew than its competitors in order to enable SIA to fulfill its customers' needs more than its competitors do. The last point is innovation. SIA making radical and incremental innovation in most areas because the overall customer's experience matters most. For instance, a person's ability to taste food declines by about 40% at an altitude of 30,000 feet because of the dry air. SIA invested $700,000 to build a facility that enables chefs to taste food under pressurized flight conditions to ensure that SIA's cuisine tastes as good as on the ground. On the other hand, SIA also spent less on price per aircraft. SIA obtains cheaper price for its aircraft by placing large orders and often pays in cash. Second, fuel maintenance and repair. Young aircraft result in more fuel efficient and also less repair and maintenance, so it can keep them operating at their maximum than old aircrafts do. Third, salaries. SIA doesn't pay much in salaries, but offers bonus up to 50% based on SIA profitability, which is obtained by great cooperation of the employees. And the last, SIA spend less on back office technologies. SIA doesn't customize its own system, but uses the available system and also uses outsourcing for its IT function, so it could keep the cost low and focus more on its core business. Okay, we have reached at the end of our explanation, and to conclude that, we can say that executing dual strategies is not easy, but that's what makes the business stand out of its competitors.